we're visiting some of our senior citizens. Some of them are shut-ins. We're trying to spread the word, trying to get our constituents to respect and uh, acknowledge the advice that has been given. Many people don't uh, feel that the COVID-19 is a threat to them. But I guess as we continue to engage, as we continue to bring the message to them, you know, me personally being on the ground to say to them what the threat is and how they should protect themselves. There, in the coming weeks, we might see an increase in behavior change to a more positive behavior. Observing the social distancing rules, hand sanitizing, washing hands with soap and water, coughing into a tissue or covering their mouth. Eventually, it will take root as the, the message is carried. Look at that! How are you? How oh, things? Not too bad. And look at this little one here. Yes. yes. Is this your grandson? It's a great grand. The great grand. Yes. Hey guys. Have you gone out on the road since the isolation orders have been given? Just go in and come back, Mr. Wallace. I don't go out and stay. I just run out and come back. And come back. So and I, I tell you, say I don't go because if I say I don't go. Well, not, you're allowed. Not, not far out, you know. You're allowed to go shopping. once yeah, yes. to get your stuff and come back in. And come back in. Yes. So we're all going to get through this COVID together. Yes, Mr. So well, and I am praying. Are you know I am praying? Praying person. Yes. We need all the prayers we can get. Oh, Lord, Mr. Wallace, we need you. We need all right. You. Yes, Mr. So well, thank you for coming. My pleasure.